it, Deanne here. Hope you had a wonderful weekend. Sun shining today. I've had a lovely day with family. Um, and an interesting post came up in my memories that struck a chord with me and made me want to share this live video. So I'll begin with what my beliefs are around why we're here. So I see Earth as a school. We come to this planet, into this body, to live our life, to learn the lessons that we need to learn. And for that reason, I also believe in reincarnation, right? So we live the life that we're here to live, to learn that lesson, and next time there's another one, and the next time there's another one. And some of us want to fast track our, our um, experiences and our learnings, and we go through a lot. <laughs> okay. Now, the post that came up in my memories that made me think about all of this was I'd read an article, hi Henrietta, I'd read an article on the top five regrets of the dying. And what they are is quite surprising because we think we're here to get a job, to raise a family, buy a home, do all those things. But they're usually not anywhere near close to what people want in their lives. So I'll, I'll tell you what they are. These are in no uh, particular order. So the top five regrets of the dying. I wish I had the courage to live a life true to myself, not the life others expected of me. And this is something a lot of people really do struggle with because we have the parents wanting us to do certain things. And then we feel like, if, especially if you have a family, you've got to provide for the family and you've got to do things. And we neglect to think of ourselves. What do you want in your life? Yeah? I wish I didn't work so hard. <laughs> I value time over money in this scenario, right? I wish I'd had the courage to express my feelings. So many of us hold back because we're afraid of rejection or judgment or those kinds of things. These are the regrets of the dying. These are things they wish they had done. I wish I'd stayed in touch with my friends. Again, working, family. We tend to neglect those kinds of relationships in our lives. And I wish that I'd let myself be happier. In a nutshell, that's all of it, isn't it? So this is where I like to focus on helping people create a life they love. And this is why I say to live between being selfless and selfish. You don't want to be selfless and you don't want to be selfish. In the middle is where it's the perfect place to be. And for those of you who are struggling or not sure what to do with your lives, uh, my summit's coming up next week, not this coming week, the following week, starting on the 18th, where myself and nine other people who are living a life they love, delivering their services and their purpose to the world, will be sharing with you how they came to be there, what uh, the service or product they're providing, how it's helping people, and it can inspire you to maybe have a look and think, oh, maybe I'd like to do that. Or you can see how they did it so you can do it yourself, that kind of thing. So it's going to be a wonderful sharing from all of these people who are doing it. And it will be inside a Facebook group, not this one. I'll create a new one for it. So if you don't make the live streaming of the presentations, you can, in fact, watch it all later. It will be sitting in the Facebook group like my live videos here do. So I'll drop a link for that and you can register. It's free, completely free. But yeah, have a think about those five regrets. Are you going to have one of those as your regret? And why are you here? What are you here to learn? What are you here to share, maybe? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.